picked my paper out of the party box, and today we're going to be folding an origami bat. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Jaden. Yeah. So what we're going to do is start with the pattern side face down. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm folding from a solid color because it's a little bit easier for you to see the, the sequence of folds with that. So this is the back side of the paper. If you have one of the party box uh, papers, it would probably be a solid color like Jaden has there. So we're going to take this and fold it into a triangle. So let's go ahead and bring the two opposite corners up, line it up at the top point, hold it in place with one hand and then pull straight down with the other hand right through the middle. Then when you make your fold to the left and right, it will stay right in place and you have a nice, super cool triangle. Now we're going to take the same triangle and fold it in half. So let's just go ahead and fold it in half, bring those points together. And I like to start from the folded edge and then work your way up like this. And then now we're going to unfold it. So let's unfold it. So we have our um, crease that works right down the middle of the model, which is going to help you when we do going forward and making it nice and symmetrical. So we want to take the top of the triangle and we want to bring it just past this bottom edge here. So you kind of use this as a guide so it sticks out a little bit like that. This is going to be the head of the bat. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it like this. Awesome. Let's turn the model over. And we're going to take that triangle and just fold it down right along that edge. This is going to be the head of the bat. Let me grab both layers of paper, which I'm going to do and then fold it down like that. So now you still see your uh, center line. I'm gonna rotate my model so that this is how you're, you'll be looking at it. So you have the head here and you've got that center line there. And so what we're gonna do is take this edge, this half, and we're going to bring it to line up with the center line using the middle as a pivot. So it's gonna be like this. Just going to bring it up, kind of like how you would fold a paper airplane. Okay, so you have that. And do the same for the other side. So we're going to take the flap on the right and bring it up. It should meet right in the center like that. Kind of look like an arrow now, pointing at you. Now, if you look here, you see the square, and then there's a point here, and there's a point here. We're going to take this flap and fold it right between those two points. We're basically folding it down, just like that. And the same for the other flap. So right between those two points, just going to take that and fold that down. So it looks like this. And so now we have one more step. We want to take this outer edge and fold it up to meet this top edge using this corner as your pivot. So it's going to look like this. And the same, you could kind of lift it up a little bit because we need room for this guy here. So take that outer edge and just fold it in to meet the top edge, just like that. Remember, you have a point right there. Okay, and then now open it up and then take the model and just fold it, make a mountain fold, which is basically you're folding it in half like this. And there is your cool bat. Awesome. Yay. How'd you do? Oh, it looks I great. Did okay. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Great.